Hi everybody, my name is Sakshma Srivastava and I hope that all of you are happy and healthy. I am back with all the top trending stories from the world of Korean entertainment. First one, TXT Yeonjun confirms his solo debut on Ranjin. On episode 4 of BTS's Jin's variety show Ranjin, his big hit music label mate TXT's Yeonjun made an appearance as a guest, much to fans' excitement. Yet, Yeonjun revealed some exciting news during the episode. We can look forward to Yeonjun's solo debut. He told Jin that he is preparing to release a mixtape. While the editor censored the release date, he might have said either September 16 or 19. Moaz, which are TXT's fans, could not be more excited for Yeonjun's mixtape. Yeonjun previously teased his solo project during a live broadcast with Wong Ryu. He was notably nervous since he is the first TXT member to make a solo debut. Ahead of his mixtape, Yeonjun released his first solo OST for K-drama Cinderella at 2 a.m. titled Boyfriend on September 1. Next, former NCT member Tail goes private on Instagram post his scandal. It has been a week since the announcement was made when on August 28, SM Entertainment shared that Tail would be removed from NCT due to an unspecified crime related to sexual allegations. Since then, additional case details have been revealed as fans and the members reacted to the news. According to SM Entertainment, they were unaware of the investigation until mid-August. Following the announcement, Tail's social media accounts were inactive even as the NCT members unfollowed him. On September 4, Tail's first update came in, the form of his setting his Instagram account to private. The number of accounts Tail follows has been changed as well, dropping from over 50 to 42. The former member of NCT has also lost over 1.1 million followers in the time since the scandal was made public. SN are currently in the process of removing all mentions of Tail from the NCT contents. Both NCT and NCT 127's Instagram accounts unfollowed Tail's personal account. In fact, multiple members of NCT have unfollowed him as well. Member Taeyong removed pictures with Tail from his Instagram account immediately after SM Entertainment announced that Tail had been removed from the group due to a sex-related crime. In fact, Taeyong then also unfollowed all the accounts he previously had on his following list, which means he is now following nobody on Instagram. He removed three pictures that included Tail from a post shared on April 15 during his military send-off. Following Taeyong, member Do Young also unfollowed Tail's account as well as all other accounts on his following list. On the other hand, Hei-chan has only unfollowed Tail's account. Johnny, similarly to Hei-chan, has also unfollowed Tail. Baby's Win Win has also unfollowed Tail on his personal account. NCT's Mark 2 has unfollowed his former bandmate on Instagram. Jungwoo has since unfollowed everyone on his Instagram account. Next, EXO Suho's Dubai and Europe tour gets shockingly cancelled at the last moment. Fans of EXO Suho were left stunned and frustrated when his highly anticipated European and Dubai tour were abruptly cancelled just one week before it was set to begin. Titled Su Home, the tour was scheduled to kick off between September 10 and 20, 2024, with stops planned in major cities including London, Paris, Berlin, Warsaw and Dubai. The cancellation announcement came as a shock to fans who had already made extensive preparations including purchasing concert tickets, booking hotels and arranging travel plans. Many expressed their anger and disappointment, particularly as the notice of cancellation came so close to the tour's starting date. The official statement from concert organization Applewood revealed the decision was made due to the inadequate preparations by the local promoter, Twisted Talent. They explained that the main concern was ensuring the safety of the artists and the fans and maintaining the concert's quality. Despite the efforts made, it was decided that continuing under the current conditions would not be feasible. In their apology, the organizers emphasized that they regretted the inconvenience, expressed remorse over the situation. However, they assured fans that the decision was not taken lightly and that they prioritize safety above all. They also mentioned that further details regarding refunds would be shared soon through the local promoter responsible for ticket sales. Though disappointed, fans are now awaiting more updates regarding refunds and hoping to see Suho perform in the future under better circumstances. In the middle of this, there is some huge news for the Indian XOLs. The EXO leader is ready to take India by storm this October at the second edition of the K-Wave Festival. Showering fans with all things Hallyu, the 2024 edition of the K-Wave Festival will positively influence mainstreaming the K-pop presence in India, a country brimming with expansive and diverse fandoms. Yesteryear's events have paved the way for the country to welcome the EXO leader with open arms. The event's press statement reads, Suho's visit to India marks a significant milestone in the Indian K-pop scene as he becomes the first SM entertainment artist to perform in the country. His performance is more than just a showcase of his immense talent, it is also symbolizing a new era of possibilities for K-pop in India. Suho's groundbreaking presence sets the stage for what we hope will be the first of many SM entertainment acts to grace India in the future. Next, 
B-Lift Lab issues an official statement regarding Sasengs accessing the personal information of Enhypen members. Enhypen was recently made the target of Sasengs fans, according to Export News. Upon their return from China, Sasengs fans unlawfully acquired the group's flight details by registering with the airline without permission and choosing their own seats. They also disabled the option for changing seats to ensure they remained in their chosen spots. Reports indicated that these extreme fans aimed to secure seats closest to the artist in order to take unauthorized photos. The airline confirmed that someone had used the member's personal information to register for a membership with the contact details being linked to a Chinese number and seat selection being restricted. As a result, Enhypen had to verify their identities at the airport in order to change their seats. In response to the matter, Belief Lab has issued a brief statement on September 5, 2024. We are in the midst of strictly dealing with the matter regarding illegal access of flight information and its sales. We will do our best to protect the artists. Next. Fans demand for the reinstatement of Min Hee Jin as the CEO of Adore. New Jeans fans are rallying behind Min Hee Jin, the former CEO of Adore, after her sudden removal from the position. Concerned about the potential impact on the girl group, fans have sent a formal letter to Hive, Adore's parent company, urging them to reinstate Min Hee Jin as the CEO. South Korean media outlets reported that 1445 fans of New Jeans have collectively sent a letter to Hive. The letter was addressed to Hive's new CEO Lee Jae Sang, current Adore CEO Kim Joon Young and other key figures within the company. In the letter, fans expressed their concerns regarding the recent management change, emphasizing their belief that New Jeans' rapid success was due to the synergy between Min Hee Jin's leadership and the group's production team. Fans highlighted that Min Hee Jin's leadership had been instrumental in fostering an environment that supported New Jeans' growth and creative output. They worried that any disruption in the personal structure she established could negatively impact the group's future, especially during a critical period as they prepare for a new album and world tour next year. In their letter, fans also voiced concerns about the timing of Min Hee Jin's removal. They described the decision as incomprehensible given that New Jeans is entering its third year since debut, a crucial stage for any K-pop group. Fans pointed out that while Min Hee Jin's abilities have been proven, the new CEO Kim Joo Young lacks experience in both management and the entertainment industry, raising doubts about his ability to lead Adore effectively. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a fresh episode next week for all the top trending stories from the world of Korean entertainment.